Welcome to Rice University and Fundamentals of Immunology. Our endowment came from William Marsh Rice, but it was Edgar Odell Lovett that gave Rice its soul. He traveled all over Europe and brought back ideas to give our students the best education that anyone could receive. He envisioned Rice as being an asset to the wider community. And he even chose our mascot, the Athenian Owl. The goddess Athena the Owl-Eyed is the goddess of knowledge, both practical and abstract. And immunology is something that I think Edgar Odell Lovett would have approved of. This course covers the first third of the Rice University immunology course designed for junior and senior pre-meds. And we use many of the same materials, including questions. One thing that I provide for them and for you is a detailed outline of each lecture and copies of any figures that I use in the course of that lecture for which you might find a question on later on. Because the test questions aren't easy. We're going to be using multiple choice tests, something that international students refer to as American tests, but not all Americans particularly like them either. So what I have done at the end of every video clip is give you two practice questions in as many different formats and testing as many different types of skills as possible. Another further warning, I have written multiple choice questions for both the MCAT and the GRE advanced test in molecular biology. So while you may get a few easy peasy questions from me uh, that just require regurgitation, many of the questions I write require inference and application. There's a lot of terminology in immunology, but simply memorizing it will not get you through this course. So you have to be able to relate what goes on in one system to what goes on in another system. You have to show me you understand how structure relates to function. You have to apply the meaning of all of those terms to different situations, and occasionally I'm going to ask you to solve problems with basic arithmetic. So what I try to tell my students here at Rice is that if you see a question and do not automatically know how the answer, you should not panic, and you certainly should not begin guessing wildly. Think about what you know and how you can use that knowledge to navigate the choices. Finally, I'm standing in front of a picture of Rice's Baker Policy Institute. An important thing that happens here is that people meet to talk about how to apply science to political recommendations and policy decisions. So if you want to make the best use of this course, you should be prepared to apply it as new information becomes available. So let's begin. Make sure you have a copy of the outline for the first lecture handy, either as a hard copy or as a computer file and that will let you take notes on it and get a general feel for how I think the information in the lecture is organized and how it fits together. My best wishes to all and here we go.